After more than 100 years, Fort Bragg is officially Fort Liberty. Good afternoon, I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Bill Young. Let's take a listen in on the historic redesignation ceremony just a short time ago. The Department of Defense renaming Fort Bragg and eight other military installations named after Confederate leaders. A Gold Star mom suggested the name Liberty. It was chosen out of nearly 100 suggestions. Fort Liberty leads, Fort Liberty leads say that while the name of the post has changed, the mission does not. I only wish that any nation adversary or person that wishes, wishes our nation ill will could be here today. Because if they were, they would see they would not be in their interest to contend with us or this community. But if they choose poorly, I can promise you, we will go to any ends of the world, sacrifice, and defeat you to ensure the liberty for all of our fellow citizens. Fort Liberty is also changing the names of nine roads on post, including Bragg Boulevard. They're renaming those after fallen soldiers. CBS 17's Justin Moore will have a full story on Fort Liberty coming up on CBS 17 News at 4. The Army established Camp Bragg on September 4, 1918 as a year-round training site. In 1922, Camp Bragg became Fort Bragg, adding parade grounds, more training facilities and athletic facilities. By mid-1943, airborne training at Fort Bragg exceeded 100,000 personnel. Now as Fort Liberty, it is the home of the Airborne and Special Operations. With approximately 57,000 military personnel, 11,000 civilian employees, and is one of the largest military complexes in the world. And when it is all said and done, renaming Fort Bragg to Fort Liberty will cost more than $6 million. That's from a report released by the National Renaming Commission. The commission was mandated by the National, the National Defense Authorization Act in 2021. It was to identify assets that commemorate the Confederacy. Fort Liberty has the distinction of being the only military installation not to be named after a specific person. So we want to know what you think. Do you support the name change of Fort Bragg to Fort Liberty? Right now, 82% of you saying no. To vote, head to the CBS 17 News app, click on the menu in the upper left corner, and select CBS 17 Votes. And you can keep up to date on the transition and so much more by using our free CBS 17 News app.